Many thought they had left behind prejudice and discrimination, only to experience it again in the U.S. Irish were frequently singled out because they were Catholic. In 1831, Protestants set St. Mary's Catholic Church in New York City on fire. Discrimination against the Chinese was even more common, largely due to U.S. government policies. In 1882, the Chinese Exclusion Act made it illegal for Chinese immigrants to enter the country. And those already in the U.S. were not eligible for citizenship. The law stopped the growth of the Chinese community in New York. Employment was also a problem. Greedy factory owners often took advantage of the immigrants' poverty and poor language skills to get cheap labor. Often men, women, and children would work long hours in sweatshops or factories with low wages and dangerous and dirty working conditions. Children were especially at risk. Child labor was usually the result of kidnapping or an arrangement with desperately poor parents. Sometimes children were sent out as beggars, roaming the streets of New York City. The living conditions for many immigrants were equally horrifying. All too often, crowded slums were the only housing a family could afford. These tenements were known for their crowded and dirty conditions. And violence was common. The Five Points area of New York City was notorious for the large number of gangs and frequent riots. But the immigrant experience is not just about hardship and discrimination. Many established new, successful lives here. Immigrants have been coming to New York for centuries, and they continue to arrive every day.